Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, you may feel defeated today, my child, but remember in me, you are always more than a conqueror. You may even feel downcast, my child, but in me you are victorious. You may not even understand what is currently happening around you within your life, but when you trust and put your trust in me, all things shall be well. I will use all things for your good and my glory. For every struggle, for every disappointment, for every time that you felt alone, for when people left or abandoned you, know that I never left you or ever did I leave you, my child. For those that leave everything in my hands will see me in everything. For I will never leave you empty, neither, my child, for I will replace everything the enemy has stolen from you, as you continue to look towards me each and every single day. So remember, when I ask you to put something down, it's because I have better plans for you and will in time get you to pick up something greater that you could have ever imagined before. When anger ignites within you, it will use the fuel of your pain, injustice and fear to create a path of destruction. Therefore, do not let your emotions control you, my child, and let not the sun go down on your anger. Even when you feel that you have reached rock bottom at times, my child, remember, it will teach you lessons that the mountain tops will not be able to teach you or appreciate. So keep a good attitude, even through the testing times of life, as they are only temporary when you put your trust in me. The devil wants you to worry so much about what's going on around you, what's coming next and the uncertainty of the future so that you cannot get the rest that you need to enjoy my presence. For by keeping you busy thinking about other things that you will not spend time with me and therefore not produce the oil that your lamp requires. Stop being distracted by the enemy's methods, for the devil is a liar, and I will always show a way of escape for you when you cry out to me. So no matter what the devil is plotting against you today, it will not work and he shall never succeed because I will encamp around you and protect all those that obey me. Never underestimate what I am doing within your waiting seasons either, my child, for the road that should always matter the most to you within this season, my child, is the narrow path that leads you into my presence. If the Red Sea could not stop Moses and the walls of Jericho could not stop Joshua, then when you are in me, my child, nothing will be able to stop you fighting the mission that I have set you upon. People will let you down, my child, so always be prepared for this. But learn to forgive them, my child, quickly. Remember, even some will be mad at you just because you are being blessed by me. But remain at peace in me, for it is never between you and them anyway, but it is the relationship that they have within themselves that they are not happy about. Many today, my child, have made the biggest mistakes when they enter into relationships that have not been sanctioned by me. Yes, many run ahead of my will and in some cases timing and enter disastrous relationships because they choose future partners based on the lusts of the flesh rather than according to my wisdom. Therefore, always wait for my green light, especially pertaining to life partners. Always and always, my child, remember I am with you. Also, my child, don't cling to the mistakes that you have made in the past just because of the time that you put into that mistake, for it is better for you to surrender it all to me so that I will make something beautiful out of your life. See, my child, that broken thing that you keep trying to put back together is only possible by me. 
See, the old thing will never compare to the new thing that I wish to complete within your life, my child. So surrender it to me, for my timing is always perfect. Sometimes I will even put you in places alone because I want you to realize that you don't need anyone else but me. For no one can stop the blessings that I have planned for you, my child. So ensure you keep a good attitude during every trial of life. Bad attitude is like a flat tire on your car. And unless you change it, you will not be going anywhere, my child. Remember, it is not a blessing from me if you had to sin to get it. Therefore, always keep your hearts clean and motives pure before me. My Holy Spirit will always warn you, but it is up to you to adhere and follow in obedience. Remember, when my Spirit lays something upon your heart, move without hesitation, my child, for you have no idea who and what may be depending on your obedience to me. Therefore, do not delay in what I am laying upon your heart even today. I will always make a way for you, my child. Therefore, be at peace this day. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says according to Colossians 1 verses 10 to 11, so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work growing in knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience. Do you consider yourself to be patient? Our daily lives require us to exercise patience patience, whether the issues we face are small or big, receiving a bad grade or dealing with a difficult co-worker or dealing with a difficult child or experiencing conflict with a friend or getting sick are all situations that require us to be patient and it is often easy said than done. Unfortunately, we cannot control every aspect of our lives. The way others treat us and the situation we find ourselves in are sometimes simple beyond our control, and we have to find ways to cope with them. So how can we be patient in seemingly impossible circumstances? The Bible says, according to Romans 12, verse 12 says, Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. In life, we will face trials. However, as believers, we can find hope in knowing that we have a loving God who is in control of our lives. When we put our trust in his perfect plan rather than our own, we do not need to feel anxious, worried, or even impatient. In addition, we do not have to struggle to find patience within ourselves. In fact, when we call upon God, he can give us the strength to be patient. While we may not understand the waiting period we are in, we can rest in the fact that God works all things together for the good of those who love him rather than trying to make things happen. We can let go of the reins and say, God, we give it all to you. So if you are in the midst of a season of waiting, remember that God's plan is greater than anything that we could imagine. As his children, he does not withhold good things from us. When he gave himself on the cross, he gave it all. And he requires us also to be faithful in prayer. And he will work through us in incredible ways when we learn to yield ourselves completely to him. Hallelujah. Let us pray, precious saints, for those that are in need of encouragement, for those that are in need of a touch from God. We're going to pray for the Lord to touch you and change that situation that you are going through. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we come before your throne of grace today boldly by the blood of your Son, 
Jesus Christ. We know, Lord, that there are days when the reality of our broken world may hit us. The hurt, the disappointments and sickness. It can also make us seem like we are alone, especially in seasons when it feels like we're walking through a dark valley. We need your light to walk through. Thank you, Jesus, for walking this earth and for experiencing the brokenness of our world so that you can meet us in compassion and empathy in times when we feel down. You became all things that we might be saved. We know that in times when we don't know what to pray, that your spirit is interceding on our behalf. When we are weak, you become our strength, Lord. We know that because in our weaknesses, you are strong. We ask for you to strengthen every person today that is listening today that might be feeling weak, alone, discouraged, or even down today. Today that we ask that your light of encouragement will dawn on us as we reflect on who you are. We praise you for being the same yesterday, today and forever. No matter what life throws our way, let the truth of your character wash over us and lift our spirits. You are the God of all comfort when we hurt. You are the Prince of Peace when we feel anxious. You are the God of the Lord of hosts when we feel alone. You are the God and the good shepherd when we feel lost. You are the strong tower when we feel battered by the storm. You are our joy when we feel discouraged. Lord Jesus, we pray that you will show your faithfulness to each person that is listening today, that you would lift up their countenance today. Even now, remind us of your presence and the fact that you rejoice over us with singing and dancing sing over us with joy. We ask for your perfect love to quiet our hearts and for your courage to well up within us. You've promised that you will never leave nor forsake us. You say that nothing is too difficult for you and we know that your spirit is alive and in work within us and we stand on your promises and we learn to lean upon you because you are our strength. I pray Lord that you would touch each person from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Bring healing, bring deliverance, bring freedom. Lord, that you would baptize them with the spirit of fire and the spirit today in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch them in the name of Jesus Christ with your Holy Spirit. Touch them, fill them, encourage them, strengthen them to go on that they would never give up for what you have in store for each person. We know that your plans are good and we bless you today for each person in Jesus' mighty name we pray and believe. Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also forward it to a friend. You can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Go to our free website, Repentance Revival. And don't forget, we've got a three-day fasting that will come towards the end of this month, end of January, which I will update shortly. So get ready for that. So each person that participates may be blessed as we cross over into a new month of February. And then there'll be one in February and so forth. So God bless you. And don't forget, for those that I'll be coming to the nations this year, and I'll be starting in the Philippines, I'll be going to Indonesia and so forth. And the other people are starting to organize and plan with them also. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.